Let's get down to the volleys. On the volley, the most common mistakes we all find is we're mishitting the ball, we try to place it someplace, it's not going where we want, it gets too close, gets too far away. The drills we're going to introduce to you right now are the ones that are going to be able to eliminate those problems simply by removing the distractions to your eye so that you can get on balance, be able to control your eye at the contact point so your natural volley appears and begins to get stronger and stronger without again having to change anything. Let's go to the first drill. Drill number one, let's find your optimum balance point, the one you want to arrive at most successfully so that you can make the best volley you can make. The drill we're going to do right now is very simple. Watch carefully and then you do it after I do it. I'm going to begin by tapping, just tapping the ball and then I'm going to start to move around and find the place. This one's too close for me. This one is obviously too far away. There'll be a place in which my balance point with my hands being slightly in front of me where I might catch a ball, I can find this would be my most comfortable spot that I want to find and now begin to reinforce. All right, everyone try to find that. A couple extra tips to help you find your balance point. One, make sure the ball is in front of your foot and that your hand also is slightly in front of your foot. If the ball is too far in front, you're going to feel it in your back. If the ball is too close to you, you're going to feel it in your elbow. Move around. Once you find it, you can stay on that foot for 15 hits with total comfort. You found your balance point and we're ready to go to drill number two. We found our balance point. Now let's reinforce it and get it ready to take to the court. We have to start working with our eye. This is the critical link for ball judgment. If your eye focuses on the ball too soon, before it gets to your contact point, you will find a little loss in your coordination system. Tracking the ball is as easy as one, two, three with this eye coaching system. With the volley, when the ball's down, that's one. When it goes away from you, it's two. And on three, your eye is waiting for the ball to come back to you. If your eye goes to one or two, you will probably find a great discomfort in your stroke. If you leave your eye where you want the ball to go to, you will find an amazing change in your eye-foot coordination and your eye-hand coordination. One, two, three. Notice that my footwork is not stopping. After I volley, then I look over. Volley, move, and then I look. Volley, move, and then I look. Volley, move, and then I look. If you volley, look, you'll feel your balance go forward. Your recovery will be a little slower. So, the other part of this is, when do you make your volley stroke? Where are my hands when I'm volleying? You'll be your fastest, your most agile, and your quickest. If your hands are in front of you, as soon as your racket goes back, you will feel a little loss of balance. So this drill is designed to shrink your stroke, give you the maximum speed with the smallest amount of stroke so that you can cover more court, and at the same time, training your eye at contact so you can place the ball wherever you want it. Notice my eye now is locked in and only comes up as I back up. If it comes up early, you'll be a little late going back. So, everybody practice that. If you can do this 15 in a row and your feet are not stopping, you've got your balance point, you will feel a tremendous change on the court. If you stop at contact, you will feel a tremendous change in your body. Again, do not listen to what we say. Listen to what you feel. Do the exercise and see how your body starts to coordinate when your eye, your foot, and your stroke are synchronized with this drill. All right, we've just finished doing the strengthening exercise for your balance for when to make your volley and when to look up. There's two more exercises that you can do at home. If you've got a friend that can come in and doesn't have any tennis skills, but can stand here and tap the ball for you, you can double your range of movement and practice the same things in your home that you would be almost exactly needing on the tennis court. So let's show you how this works. Now I can go much further away, watch my volley, I can get all the way back and ready to play, come up and make another volley, now I'm ready to play again, and everything now feels like I'm now, I can make my shots, I've got my balance, I've got my eye at my contact, I'm reversing back to my position, and this is all can be done right in your living room. Now if you've got another friend who says they'd like to practice with you, bring them in, and now both of you can do the same drill at the same time. Here we go. Now we've got a doubles drill going. I've got my eye back in here. She's got a reverse. Now I'm coming back in again. Got my shot in here. Yes. And I'm ready. 
to play, and you can pretty much take this drill right from here, right to the court, and feel like you've done everything at home perfectly, transfer it to the court over a period of two to three weeks. This feeling at home transfers to your court. You've got yourself a training system that can get you to the next level.